I do feel like I should mention uh, that it's around this time that Jacques Rougeau, sucker punch dynamite kid, knocked out some of his teeth. Uh, so you and I spoke about it briefly uh, before, and I also recently talked to Jim Duggan about it on the Hacksaw Hour, which is available on adfreeshows.com. Jim told me that he didn't agree with how Jacques handled it, but apparently he had witnessed on many occasions the Dynamite Kid disrespecting Jacques and Raymond, and uh, he felt that Jacques kind of needed to make a strong statement of some kind. Maybe not as strong as what he did, but Jim was like, he needed to stand up for himself, and he did. Um, and I, I agree with Jim. Yeah? I do. I do. Now, when it comes to handling this kind of thing, though, what, like, what is there a rule of thumb uh, among wrestlers, like this honor amongst thieves type thing? Like, okay, if we're going to fight, here's how we do it. <clears throat> no. I mean, if you're going to fight, it's just going to happen. Yeah. You know, it's just, you know, and if, if uh, you know, if somebody's, yeah, obviously, if there's somebody that's doing something, <clears throat> like, repeatedly, you know, like, you know, like, uh, you know, something that drives you to a point where you you have to you you either have to stand up for yourself and respond, or just you know sit there with egg on your face. Mm -hmm. So so you know in, in that regard, I think that that uh, yeah, Jock had the right to to respond. You know, so. I mean, the strength of the response maybe was a little bit unbalanced because um, I, I, I think that you know this part of the story where Jacques allegedly had a, a roll of quarters in his hand and uh, just walked up to, to Dynamite Sucker, punched him backstage, knocked his teeth out. He needed stitches. Like, pretty pretty nasty thing to do to another person. And really, you hit somebody wrong with a roll you of know, quarters in your hand, okay. you can kill him. I, I, I don't think that I was there to see that. But, you know, and, and again... A right to respond, but like that, no. You know, it's like okay. Um, I, you know, every man needs to stand up for himself. But you know, you, when you're in wrestling, you're in a fraternity, mm -hmm. and it's and, and and we're all we're all part of a unique a unique club. You know, and I, I, you know, I just don't see that to to uh, to you know like. It's almost like uh, it's almost like loading the glove. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, like uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this guy. Well, you know what? If you want to show him, then show him. You know, man to man, face to face, and may the best man win. But you know, you know, like you know, like uh, you've been you've been screwing with me, so I'm gonna sneak up and hit you in the back of the head with a chair. Uh, -uh. nope. You know, I, I would agree that that it wasn't done the right way. Jim Jim did say uh, in Jacques' defense, he was like, I, "Dynamite would have beat his ass." He was like, "So like yeah. Jacques Jacques did probably the only thing he thought he could do, which is sucker punch him, so that there's not an opportunity for him to get his ass beat." Um, I, it, Dynamite Kid was what like five foot ten, five eight, somewhere in yeah. that neighborhood. Uh, yeah. I mean, did you know him to be like this tough as nails little pit bull of a guy? Uh, I mean. <laughs> Not really. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, a little pit bull. I mean, I, I, you know, I didn't think it was a, you know, a wimp in any, 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 any sense of the word, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen him in a fight. <laughs> I mean, yeah, rumor has it. I've heard Brett <laughs> say it. Um, I've heard a, a Jake say it. A lot of people over the years have said like, down my kid, not a, not a guy to piss around with. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I never got, had the, the good fortune of meeting the guy. No, um, and yeah, and I never, you know, I always, you know, I always got along with. It. Yeah, it's I, I've heard um, it's like a mixed bag of things. A lot of people said that he was a really nasty ribber and kind of mean spirited at times. Um, and then, I, like you, I've heard other people say, like, nope, great guy, love being around him. So yeah. uh, it's interesting to hear kind of these, you know, conflicting sides.